friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly WW meal prep. I have lacking of makeup today, but I do not have lacking of recipes. These three recipes are fall inspired, Thanksgiving inspired, and they are absolutely so good. Every single one of them was absolutely perfection. So I can't wait to share my breakfast, my lunch, and a sweet treat with you. So if you want to see what I have in store for this week's WW meal prep, I am following the green plan. Just stay tuned. For my breakfast this week, I'm going to be having a pumpkin chocolate chip pancake bake. I am so excited about this. I kind of put this recipe together myself, so I'm excited to try it. I'm going to pair it with one egg that I will just cook the morning before. Now, if you are someone that goes to work each day, you could scramble up your eggs ahead of time. You could boil eggs, whatever you prefer, but I'm pairing my pancake bake with one egg and some fruit each day. And I will show you what that looks like when I go to eat my breakfast. So let me show you first what is in my pumpkin chocolate chip pancake bake. So the first thing you're going to need is some pancake mix. I'm going to be using the Trader Joe's pumpkin pancake and waffle mix. If you only have regular pancake mix, you can add in some canned pumpkin or some pumpkin pie spice, whatever your preference is. But this just really makes it easy because your pumpkin is already in your pancake mix. I have some Carb Master non-fat milk. I can't believe it's not butter light. I'm going to be using the Bake Believe Semi-Sweet Chocolate Chips. I get these at Walmart. I have never seen them anywhere else other than Walmart. And then, of course, we're going to need an egg. So let's get started on our pumpkin chocolate chip pancake bake. So let's get started on this pancake bake. So the first thing I'm going to do is add one cup of my Trader Joe's pumpkin pancake and waffle mix. To that, I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of my milk. Now you can use almond milk if you don't have access to Fairlife or Carb Master for the unfiltered milk. Also one, or I'm sorry, two tablespoons of melted butter. And then we are going to add in one egg. So we'll add all of that together. We're gonna give this a stir. You do not wanna over mix. Just make sure that you mix it until everything is combined. And we're actually going to add in our chocolate chips once we put this into our baking dish so that we get that nice gooey chocolate topping on our pancake bake. So get this nice and mixed together. You will still have lumps, which is not a problem. And then we're ready to put this into our baking dish. I went ahead and grabbed out my baking dish, sprayed it with some non-stick cooking spray. Now we're going to go ahead and add in that yummy pancake mix directly to our baking dish. This smells really good. And I think the points are a bit higher for the Trader Joe's mix because I think, I didn't look at the ingredients, but it smells sweet. So I'm wondering if there's some sort of sugar or something in the pancake mix because it does smell a little bit sweeter. But it's okay, it smells amazing. So we have our pancake mix in our dish. And then what I have here is three tablespoons of those Bake Believe chips. And I'm just going to put them on top of my pancake bake. And then I'm going to just push them down a little bit. And that way they kind of get embedded in the pancake bake, but we have that nice gooey chocolatey topping. Oh, yum, I can't wait for this. This is going to be a nice fall Thanksgiving vibe for breakfast and pairing it with some eggs adds just that little bit of protein. So go ahead and just kind of push them down just to make sure that they get really embedded into the mix so that they don't just fall off once the pancakes come out of the oven. So there we have it. We're going to go ahead and put this in our 350 degree oven until we can insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. So our chocolate chip pumpkin pancake bake is out of the oven. Yum, look at that ooey gooey chocolate chips. I'm gonna let this rest for just a couple of minutes. We'll cut it into six servings. I will get it put into my meal prep container and I'll be back to show you what I'm having for breakfast and give you the smart points. Look at this pancake bake. It is so ooey gooey chocolatey yum. So for breakfast this week, I'm going to be having one sixth of my chocolate chip pumpkin pancake bake. So this is cut into six servings. I have one extra serving for another meal. 
I'm going to be pairing that with two cutie oranges. And then as I warm it up, I'll add a little bit of spray butter. And then I'll also add some of my Mrs. Butterworth sugar-free syrup. And I'm not even going to add enough to be one point, probably a tablespoon or two before I eat it. And oh my goodness, this is so folly Thanksgiving and comforting with that pumpkin and the chocolate chips. So one sixth of the Trader Joe's pumpkin mix pancake bake is five smart points. So it is five points for the pancake bake zero for the cuties and zero for the little bit of syrup that I'm going to use. So this is going to be a five smart point breakfast. Now I'm going to pair mine with an egg as well, only because I want that little extra boost of protein. So my breakfast will be seven smart points once I add an egg. So this with an egg, seven smart points. lunches this week I'm gonna be making the mud hustlers turkey cranberry meatballs I'm going to pair that with some potatoes and some vegetables so another Thanksgiving fall delicious lunch so let me show you what is in the meatballs and I'll show you the potatoes and the veggies that I'll be pairing my meatballs with for the meatballs you're going to need some sage rosemary garlic powder i'm going to be doing minced onion you could also do whole raw onion just chopped up very finely but i actually prefer the minced onion in my meatballs you'll need one pound of 99 percent ground turkey now i did half this recipe so if you want you can double it by using two pounds of ground turkey you'll also need some reduced sugar cranberries salt and pepper Pepperidge Farms Herb Stuffed Classic Stuffing, or Herb Seasoned, excuse me, Classic Stuffing, an egg, and some celery. So that's everything in the Mud Hustler meatballs. And then for a side, I'm going to be roasting up these petite white potatoes. I'm going to season those with this seasoning. Now this is a new one for potatoes and I tried this and this is so good. So this is the Dax Red Mountain Rub. Now Dax seasonings are absolutely amazing. They have no salt, no MSG. Everything is natural in here. All whole real ingredients fantastic before weigh-in or fantastic if you need to watch your salt but you don't want to miss out on the flavor because these are packed with flavor I love these seasonings so much they are all zero points this particular seasoning it shows you right here the ingredients so cane sugar molasses dehydrated onion spices paprika dehydrated garlic orange peel chipotle pepper and red bell pepper that is it that is all that is in here. They are all natural, so good. This Red Mountain Rub is delicious on potatoes. If you're interested in Dax, I do have a 10% off discount code. It is here on the screen and there is a link down in the description box. It will not only get you 10% off, but it will also get you free shipping. So check out Dax, they have over 20 seasonings. I own every one of them. I use them all, we love them. So definitely check out Dax. So I'm going to season my potatoes with that. And then for my veggie, I'm gonna be having some broccoli and I'll just add a little bit of salt and pepper and spray butter when I go to eat it. So let's get started on my lunch prep. So for our meatballs, I've went ahead and added my one pound of fat for your 99% fat-free turkey to my bowl. To that, I'm going to add one half of a cup of the stuffing mix. Now remember, I uh, I halved or pretty close to halved the recipe because I'm actually only using one pound of ground turkey, but I'm going to put the full recipe down in the description box. It will also include the points for both the blue and purple plan uh, because he figured those points out for us. So that will be down below as well. So I added one half of a cup of the stuffing mix. We will need one egg. And I went ahead and chopped up just one stalk of celery. The recipe called for two tablespoons, so I figured that was about half of the recipe. A little extra celery never hurt anybody. And then I have one quarter cup of the craisins. And then we have a lot of spices going into this. So first we're going to do some pepper. And I would recommend just kind of doing this to your liking. His recipe for the full batch calls for about a teaspoon of each of these seasonings. So if you're having it like I am, half of a teaspoon or so would be perfect. So we're going to also add some salt. So about a half of a teaspoon of that as well. 
And then we've got some rosemary. I have this rosemary grinder. I love this. It actually grinds it fresh for you, which is awesome. And this is from Walmart. So if you're looking for this, that's where I picked it up. So about a half of a teaspoon of ground rosemary. We're also going to add in some minced onion and the recipe, the full recipe calls for a couple of tablespoons. I love onion. So I'm going to go ahead and do that couple of tablespoons into mine. And then some garlic powder, about a half of a teaspoon of that as well. And lastly, some ground sage. And that's what's really going to bring out that Thanksgiving fall vibe. So look at that, you guys. Doesn't that look so delicious? And then we're just going to combine all of this together. You're probably going to need to dig in with your hands to get it mixed together and of course to form it into the meatballs. So I'm going to start getting this mixed together and then we'll get these formed into meatballs and I'll show you a quick, easy, clean up, fast way to bake up these meatballs. So I went ahead and pulled out my muffin pan. I sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray. We are going to make our meatballs directly in that. It makes it so easy. I did preliminarily mix up my turkey, but I'm gonna go ahead and dig in and I'm really going to get this mixed together. I wanna make sure that one egg gets combined throughout all of the meat. And we wanna make sure that we have our spices in every bite, celery, craisins. I will tell you that this smells really good. You can smell that sage, but you can also smell the sweetness of the cranberries. So I am really excited about this. So I need six servings out of this batch. So I am going to get 12 muffins or 12 meatball muffins if I possibly can. Otherwise six. I'm going to shoot for 12 though. So I'm not sure exactly the size that we're going for here, but you're just going to form it into a ball and you're just gonna plunk it into the muffin tin. So I'm gonna go for, again, 12 meatballs and then I'll be able to have two per day because I figured my points with having the recipe on 12 muffins total or two, point, two per day. I see you standing there, a soothing atmosphere. Smell of your aftershave, sweet blossom in the rain. You flip around your hair as if you're unaware, but you should know that I'm looking at you. you make me so here are our meatballs. Don't these look so delicious? Let's get our potatoes ready to go into the oven as well. And we're going to put these all in at 400. So we should be able to cook both our meatballs and our potatoes all at once. So for our potatoes, I'm just going to cut them in half. And then I'm going to cut them in half again. So essentially, I'm going to just quarter the potato. And I think that that's going to cook right along with those meatballs in the perfect amount of time. So I'm going to go ahead and get this whole bag of potatoes quartered. And then I'll show you how I'm going to season them and cook them up in the oven. my baking sheet here with my little rack and I like to use that when I'm cooking the potatoes. I added a sheet of parchment paper to the bottom for easy cleanup and I did spray the rack with some nonstick cooking spray. Here are my potatoes. So I am basically just going to put these out on the rack of my baking sheet. I like using this rack because it distributes the air pretty well and everything gets cooked pretty darn thoroughly that way. So make sure that you put your potatoes out if you can in a pretty even layer and then that way, you know, everything's cooking nicely and evenly. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my potatoes put out here on my rack and then we'll get these seasoned up with the dags. So once your potatoes are out nice and even in one layer on your baking sheet, I am going to take some nonstick cooking spray and just spray the top of my potatoes. Not only will that help the seasoning stick, but it just helps them brown up really nicely in the oven. And then this is where I'm going to add in my Dax Red Mountain Rub. And I am just going to liberally apply this to all of my potatoes. I just want to make sure I have a little bit of the rub on each of my little pieces of potatoes for that flavor. Again, you guys, I know this is a rub, but it is so delicious on potatoes. It's delicious on steak, chicken, 
everything. It's really good on hamburgers, but it is also delicious on potatoes. So it's a definitely a seasoning that you must add to your arsenal. So there are my potatoes and I'm gonna put these in the oven at 400 right along with my meatballs. So everything just came out of the oven. Look at these meatballs. Yum. So if you doubled the recipe, these meatballs would be double the size because you still would get 12 meatballs out of your recipe. But this is the perfect size for me because I'm going to actually be having two of these. And then here are my roasted potatoes with that Red Mountain Rub. Oh, it smells so good. So I'm going to go ahead and get these divvied out into my meal prep container along with my broccoli. And I'll be back to show you my lunch and give you the smart points. So here are my lunches for the week. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I decided to do it a little bit different this week and I put my meatballs in one of the small compartments so that I could really load up on the veggies since veggies are zero points and I could use a little extra veggies in my life. So that's kind of how I laid out my meal prep container. So let's walk through everything. So each day I'm going to be having two of my Mud Hustler turkey cranberry meatballs. And by having the recipe, I can have two meatballs for three smart points. And again, I am following the green plan. So that is three smart points for two meatballs. I have one fifth of the bag of potatoes. The bag of potatoes is 21 points. So it is four points for one fifth of the bag. And then of course my broccoli is zero points. And then for dessert, I'm going to be having one of my Choco Wright peanut butter cups. This is what these look like. There are two peanut butter cups per pack. They are 35 calories a piece or one smart point each. So you can have this entire pack of peanut butter cups for two smart points. These are so good. They do not affect your glycemic index. They are just super delicious. I buy mine off of the Protein Wise website. There is a link down in the description box for Protein Wise and you can also get $10 off your first order. So you can order these along with a few other things and not pay a penny because you get $10 off. So I'm going to be having one two pack of my peanut butter cups for two additional smart points. So three for the meatballs, four for the potatoes is seven, and then two for the peanut butter cups makes nine. So on the green plan, this is a nine smart point lunch. For a sweet treat this week, I'm going to be making apple cider muffins. I've made a similar recipe last year that is no longer on my channel and they were so good you guys that I decided to recreate them, change it up a little bit and make some new and improved apple cider muffins. So let me show you what you're going to need. You'll need a box of the Pillsbury sugar-free quick bread and muffin mix. This is in the deluxe cinnamon swirl, unsweetened applesauce, three quarters of a cup of water, two packets of the Alpine sugar-free apple cider mix, three apples of your choice. I'm using the Envy apples. I really like these in baked goods. And then you're also going to need an egg. So let's get started on these apple cider muffins. The first step for our muffins is we are going to peel and dice our apples, put those pieces here in a bowl, and then we'll start assembling the muffin mix. Do I, do I, do believe in love is like me? So for our muffins, I went ahead and added the pack of the muffin mix. We are going to reserve the cinnamon swirl packet off to the side. We're actually going to add this kind of halfway through and on the very top of our muffins. So to our muffin mix, we're going to go ahead and fold in our apples. So you saw that we chopped up all those apples into just kind of rough chopped pieces. To that, we're going to add one third cup of unsweetened applesauce, and this is in place of the oil. So I am just following the instructions on the back of the box of the muffin mix. To that, I'm also going to add three quarters cup of water per the box instructions, and two eggs per the box instructions. And then I am going to be adding in two packets of the sugar-free apple cider mix. And you guys, I'm telling you, that is just elevates these muffins beyond belief. You're not even going to believe how delicious these are with that bit of apple cider mix. So we're just going to mix this together until everything is nice and combined. And then we'll get ready to put this into our muffin tin. 
So we have our muffin mix. Look at how good that looks. I also went ahead and put our package of cinnamon swirl in a bowl here. And then I'm going to be making my muffins in my brownie pan. I like the little square muffins. I think that they are kind of fun. And then I'm going to be using my medium scoop. I did buy this three pack of scoops off of Amazon. I want to say they were just $10 or so. They are linked in my Amazon store below. So I'm going to put in half of the amount of muffin mix that I'm originally wanting per muffin because I want to add a little bit of this cinnamon swirl mix to the middle of my muffins. So I'm going to do half muffin mix, a little bit of cinnamon swirl mix, and then I will go back and add another layer of the muffin mix and we'll top it with another layer of the cinnamon swirl. So let's get all of these muffin tin here about half full with the muffin mix. Once they're half full, we're going to take a spoon and we're just going to sprinkle on a little bit of that cinnamon swirl muffin mix. And that is going to give it that nice cinnamon swirly middle, which just really enhances the flavor. I like the cinnamon swirl part so much. It is so good. And it's nice to have it in the middle of your muffin as well as on top as a crumble. So we're just going to spoon just a little bit on, and then we're going to top it with the other half of the muffin mix. And that will create a full muffin. And then we'll add a little more cinnamon swirl mix right to the top. I see you standing there, a soothing atmosphere Smell of your aftershave, sweet blossom in the rain You flip around your hair, as if you're unaware But you should know that So here they are, ready to go into the oven Doesn't this look so delicious so cinnamony yum so these are going to go in the oven at 375 until you can insert a toothpick and it comes out clean and i'll be back to show you our apple cider muffins so the apple cider muffins are out you guys look at this deliciousness that cinnamon crumb topping yum so i'm going to let these cool and then i'm going to pop these out of the muffin tin so i can show you what the entire muffin is going to look like and then i will give you the smart points all right here are our apple cider cinnamon swirl muffins um decadence at the max look at that cinnamon sugary goodness oh my gosh you guys yum so these muffins are only three smart points on any plan that you follow okay so blue green or purple the addition of the eggs will not change the smart points overall so this is a three smart point apple cider muffin So here are my snacks for the week. I'm keeping it pretty simple again this week. Have a busy week ahead of me. So of course in the morning, I'm going to be having a built bar and you guys take a little look-see at what flavor this is. Uh, you see caramel brownie? Yes, my friends, this is the built bar caramel brownie. Now let me tell you a little bit about this built bar. This flavor came out in the built burners before they discontinued making the built burners. So this was a built burner flavor and now they have this in a special promo on the website where you can earn these caramel brownie built bars for free and let me tell you these are better than the built burner version. Better. They are so so good and they are your normal three smart points on any plan that you follow. So here's how the promo works. If you make a purchase on the Built Bar website, you will receive the Caramel Apple Brownie Bar as well as some Built Boost and a shaker bottle for $19.95. So you can get that deal, a bag of Built Boost. This is the mixed, so this has all of the different flavors in it, blackberry lemonade, mango tangerine, pina colada, strawberry vanilla, fruit punch and strawberry pineapple. You could get a single flavor of the Built Boost and you'll get a shaker bottle and you'll get a six pack of the caramel brownie for free with any purchase on the Built Bar website. Now, I don't know how much longer that promo is going to be going on, so I would head over as soon as possible and take advantage of that. Now, the Built Boost is just a water enhancer. It is zero calories, so of course it's zero points. It has no caffeine. It has some super plants in it. And let me just tell you, this works. This gives you a burst of energy. I use this as a pre-workout before I go to jazzercise or just anytime during the day that I'm feeling a little bit of a slump and I just need a little pick-me-up. 
Love the Built Boost so much. In fact, I think I'm going to have one. I love all the flavors. I have to say my favorites are the blackberry lemonade, the strawberry vanilla, and the strawberry pineapple is my very, very favorite. But you can't go wrong. All of the flavors are good. So you can earn this bag for free and a shaker bottle and six of the Caramel Brownie Built Bars with that promo. On the screen here is my code for 10% off. So not, not only are you going to get all of that for $19.95, you can also get an extra 10% off and free shipping with my code here on the screen. So take advantage of it, you guys. I love the Caramel Brownie. I'm hoping that they make this a flavor that we can order because right now it is only part of that promotion. So don't miss out. And if you are someone that loved the Pumpkin Pie Built Bar, those are $6 a box off right now until gone. So head over there, grab those. I love the pumpkin pie, so I ordered a box. And just stock up, stock up on Built Bar and Built Boost. So this is my morning snack for three points. For my afternoon snacks, I'm gonna be taking a little bag of my chickpeas. These are the vegan white cheddar. These are so good. These were the little Halloween packs, but I will be buying full bags because this is really, really good and then i'm also going to be having some blue diamond bold wasabi and soy sauce look you guys that's all that's left i have been loving these almonds and the points vary just depending on how many almonds you eat i will generally have 23 which is four smart points you can have 28 for five and then just decrease the number of almonds to decrease the number of points so such a great snack with some fruit or by itself these are amazing and then of course you can't beat the built bar so this is what i'm going to be having this week for snacks thank you for joining me on another weekly ww meal prep i hope you enjoyed this fall thanksgiving inspired meal prep everything gave me that comfort feeling of fall and i loved every minute of it that breakfast pancake bake was so incredibly delicious and those meatballs paired with those potatoes delicious and lastly who can go wrong with apple cider muffins that is a huge muffin for three smart points so i hope you enjoyed this week's meal prep if you're new to my channel welcome make sure you subscribe hit that little bell so you're notified whenever i upload a new video thumbs up this one i really appreciate it and it helps out my channel a lot and of course comment down below let me know which of these three recipes are you most excited to try and if you made it to the end of this video, leave the fall leaf emoji or really any leaf emoji. If you are on a desktop, just type leaf and I'll know that it was the emoji. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.